In this video, we're going to change the oil and oil filter on a Volvo Penta D130 marine diesel engine. First job is to warm the engine up. The oil will run much easier when it's hot. So this is my little oil pump, um, which is jolly useful for sucking the oil uh, out of the engine. Uh, um, it gets powered from the batteries and uh, you switch it on. With most marine engines, you normally suck the oil out by removing the dipstick and sticking your suction pipe into the bottom of the engine. So now the, the oil's had a uh, little bit of time to settle, you can see that's the line, so we've got that much. We need to be sure we got it all out, and also we need to know how much we've got to put back in. A quick glance at the manual and we can see the engine takes three and a half litres. Now the engine's empty, we can take the old oil filter off, this is what's called a spin-on type. Now there's various methods of moving these spin-on canister filters. Um, my favourite is to use these. A nice pair of filter pliers. This one's been a little stubborn coming off. <laughs> Make sure you've got a suitable receptacle ready for your filter and any waste oil. Now I'm not replacing with uh, genuine Volvo filters. I'm using a quality brand equivalent because it's a significant saving. Consumable items like filters and belts, as long as they're made by reputable brands and are definitely a like-for-like -like replacement, will not compromise the reliability of your engine. Okay. So, spin that on. Nice and easy. No great shakes there. And a couple of twists up. Bit of righty-tighty. Just to make sure. Doesn't need to be super tight, just needs to be tight enough to not leak. So now it's time to put clean engine oil back in. And it's important to select the right oil for your engine. Whip out the manual again and a 15W40 is what this engine wants. And I'll always use the best quality oil I can get my hands on. There's a significant difference between cheaper oils that just scrape through the ISO standard and those which exceed the standard, providing additional protection for your engine. You need to clean off uh, any spillages whilst the engine's still cold, otherwise this will burn off when, it's, uh, when the engine gets hot and then we'll have a whole load of smoke that we didn't want. We've also put some spill soap down here and we'll scoop that up in a bit and we'll change the pad under the engine. Nice new pad under the engine, lovely and clean down there. So now uh, we are just left with the dirty oil and the filter and we can't put this in the normal rubbish, we have to take it to a specialist uh, disposal point for, uh, for oils and filters. Uh, thankfully uh, most marinas have one of those on site, so I'm going to take the engine oil and the filter and any of the oily rags and we're going to take them to the oil disposal point. So that's it, an oil change on a D130. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.